you very much. Thank you. Outside the Shake Community Campaigner. Uh, whether it's James Price Point, the Great Barrier Reef and stopping the expansion of coal export facilities there, whether it's the forests of Tasmania or the southeast or the marine parks in the southwest, we need strong environmental protection laws and they need to be federally mandated laws. If we left these things up to the states, we would have seen drilling in the Great Barrier Reef, we would have seen the Franklin Dam. And that's why this campaign is so important. Now today we've seen a temporary reprieve from the federal government. They've put their plans on hold. But here's the key message. The Business Council of Australia still have far too much influence when it comes to the rollout and implementation of Australia's environmental protection laws. What's crucial now is that we continue this community campaign because it's this movement of people, it's the activists behind me who have gotten this plan to be put on hold. But we've seen this trick before, from the federal government now and from federal governments past. We've seen this trick before. A community campaign must continue if we are to throw out the proposal of trashing Australia's environmental laws. And let's be frank, that's what it is. Because you can't trust Campbell Newman, you can't trust Barry O'Farrell, and you can't trust Ted Bailey, and you certainly can't trust Colin Barnett to protect our precious environmental assets. I want to now just read a brief statement from Larissa Waters who sends her thanks to all those activists who've been a part of this campaign. She says, while you, the community, are out here on the lawns of our House of Democracy, big business are on the inside. Today, the Business Council of Australia gets a whole day with, ver with First Ministers at the unelected Business Advisory Forum. They get to dictate government policy while the community is ignored. And you know, the state governments have a terrible track record on the environment, and they can't be trusted to act in the national interest. And yet the COAG meeting tomorrow may potentially see the government continue conversations, continue dialogue about this draconian plan that would trash the Labor Party's own environmental legacy. It would trash the Hawke Keating environmental legacy. It would send us back far beyond, far beyond we ever thought where we'd be. Now, despite the Business Council of Australia's claims, this move, this move isn't about streamlining as it, and it isn't about removing duplication. It's a sneaky deal that's designed to give big business a free hit. Now, Larissa and Christine Milne and everybody else involved in this campaign are asking all activists to continue in this effort because this summer is our chance to get rid of this idea once and for all. Thank you.